July uh, 12, 2020. Let's go there, Megan. Rapper Tory Lanez has been charged with shooting artist Megan Thee Stallion during an argument. Yes, this nigga Tory sh me. You sh me. Stop lying. Okay, so y'all remember how I said we hadn't heard the laughs about the Tory Lanez and Meg the Stallion drama? Well, things just got even crazier because it looks like Megan has been exposed for lying about the whole thing. Say what? Okay, so Megan and Tory's drama has been one of the craziest dramas that we've ever seen. And that's saying something because we all know that these celebs be wildin' on a regular. It all started when Megan, Tory, and Megan's ex-bestie Kelsey Nicole and Tory's security were on their way back from a party by Kylie Jenner in 2020. They got into an argument and Megan ended up getting sh yeah, we've been through this part of the story a million times, so I'm just gonna go over the new details for you guys, okay? So Megan claimed that Tori was the one that did it, but then it was found out that there was no gunpowder residue on Tori that night. However, there was some residue on Kelsey, and people started guessing that Kelsey was probably the one who did it. This theory made some sense at the time, since we know that Megan, Tori, and Kelsey had gotten into an argument, and it was possible that Kelsey had gotten super mad and had Megan. I'm not saying that that's what happened. I'm just letting y'all know that that's what the internet is saying about the issue. Anyways, the court didn't pursue the Kelsey angle and Tori was charged to court. The trial started a couple of months ago and child, I'm telling you, it was filled with all the drama. Things got even more insane when it was discovered that bullet fragments that were removed from Megan's feet had somehow gone missing in police custody. This made things worse for Megan because a lot of people were already doubting her story and the bullet fragments going missing kind of made it worse because people were out here questioning if there was even a bullet in the first place. But anywho, like I said, this case went to trial and Tori was ordered to stay away from Megan and to keep her name out his mouth. This means that he was not allowed to refer to her directly or indirectly. And he was also not allowed to talk about the case. And this is the part that everyone questioned because Megan was allowed to talk about it, but we're gonna get to that in a little bit. So stick with me, okay? DJ Academic stepped into the case when he tweeted that the court had found that there was no trace of Tori's DNA on the gun that was used. He tweeted, breaking. It was revealed in a court a few minutes ago that Tory Lane's DNA was not found on the weapon in the Meg Thee Stallion case. But Megan soon dragged him for lying about the case saying, court ain't even started yet, so why y'all ready to start lying? Y'all got breaking news 15 minutes before the court started and nobody's even been called in yet? Y'all trying to win a social media campaign, but this is my real life. Y'all trying to get retweets, spreading false narratives? Academics, why are you lying? What did you gain? Ah. This led to back and forth between her and DJ Academics and it was just a mess. Then Tori had to go and chip in in the conversation and said, Good D had me messing with two best friends and I got caught. That's why I apologize for it. It's sick how you spun it though. He also said, You can't buy and preach your way out of this one, not today. So y'all remember how I said that Tori was ordered to keep Megan's name out of his mouth? Well, this tweet violated the order and he was arrested and his bail was increased to $350,000. The prosecutors tried to nail him for allegedly leaking confidential information to DJ Academics about the DNA stuff and asked the judge to set the bail for $5 million. But they weren't able to prove that Tory did it, so they couldn't pin it on him. But not long after this, Megan did an interview with Gail King on CBS Mornings, where she talked about the details of the incident for the first time. She opened up about how she felt scared for her life and how that was why she lied about stepping on glass in her first interview with the police. He didn't make it to, to the house. Like, somebody had already called the police and it was like so many of them, it was helicopters. I was like, oh my God, we all about to Like the George, the George Floyd incident had just happened. The police are definitely very much shoot first, ask questions after. So I'm like, it's a hot gun in the car. I'm bleeding. I've been sh They about to somebody like something bad is about to happen she also revealed that tori offered her money to buy her silence and that the doctor immediately knew that she had been shot just by looking at her wounds alone what is he saying tori lane saying he's after apologizing he he's i'm so sorry please don't tell nobody i'll give y'all a million dollars if y'all don't say nothing and i'm like what are you talking about like what are you offering me money right now help me like and if you sorry just help me the doctor came in and he was like you know you got bullets in both of your feet like you got fragments in this foot and it's like right on the back of your achilles 
Now, after this interview aired, the fans were divided because some people believed Megan, while a lot of other people still believed that she was lying about the whole thing and that the whole interview was just a way for Megan to get some sympathy. Then there were fans that questioned why Tori was hit with the $350,000 bail for indirectly talking about the case on Twitter, but Megan was allowed to do a full interview about it. But if you think that that's crazy, just wait, because there has been some major plot twists in the case, and I'm talking about the mother of all plot twists. You see, in this recent police report that recently leaked online, it shows that the doctor who treated Megan when she was brought into the hospital reported that she was treated for glass cuts. The report says Pete, that's Megan's last name, was transported to Cedar sinai and was treated by Dr. Lofredo for lacerations to her left foot. Dr. Lofredo confirmed lacerations due to stepping on glass. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this does make Megan look bad and it makes it look like she lied about the entire thing. Now, I'm not saying that she lied or that she didn't lie because I ain't on the jury and I can't decide who's right or wrong in this case yet. I'm gonna leave that to the courts to do their thing. All I'm saying is that this looks very bad for Megan because many people were doubting her in the first place and now they have even more fuel to add to the fire and girl, they have been dragging her viciously online. For example, this person that said, so California's top doctor examined and treated Meg the Stallion's foot for glass? Now this second doctor who didn't examine or treat her injuries weeks later claims she was and y'all want me to believe Rock Nation didn't frame Tory Lanez? Another fan tweeted, Megan Thee Stallion is like Jennifer Huff. They both liars and wicked women who want to see black men down and in prison for crimes they didn't commit. If y'all still support Megan after this, y'all slick like her cause she a liar. And this was just a little bit extreme. But even though many people are dragging her, Megan still has her fair share of supporters who still believe her and they are defending her big time. A fan commented, y'all are so effing stupid. Megan Thee Stallion told y'all several times that Tory Lane shot her, but she was in fear of police killing him due to the summer of 2020 Black Lives Matter protests. She admitted she stepped on glass and lied to the police for him. She even said it again two weeks ago. And this other fan simply said, if y'all really think Megan Thee Stallion stepped on glass, you're effing stupid, but okay. Social media has been a big old mess between Megan and Tory supporters, and there have been points made on both sides. Some Megan supporters have also dug out another medical report that claims that the bullet fragments were removed from Megan's feet. This report is also from Cedar sinai and it says, the bullet fragment was identified and successfully removed. The three bullet fragments were saved and packaged according to standard protocol and passed off to appropriate authorities and blah, 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 blah. Successful removal of the major bullet fragments, there were tiny fragments of retained missile that were noted, however, deemed too small to attempt retrieval. This report aligns with Megan's claims that she still has bullet fragments in her foot and it's kind of wild to think that she has been walking around with these fragments for two years. It's just a little bit crazy. Also, Megan did say that she lied to the doctor about being cut by glass, so I think that that could possibly explain the police report that said that she had got glass cuts. Also, it didn't say that she had only glass in her feet, so I think that should count for something. But one thing that really doesn't add up for me is how the doctor had examined her at first, said that her injuries were from glass cuts, but in the interview with Gail King, she claimed that the doctor had immediately known that her injuries were from I don't know, this just kinda sticks out for me. Anywho, the new medical report has further caused more arguments online and it's just so much chaos in these streets. And that saying a lot cause you know that we lives for the drama. Megan hasn't spoken about the police report that said that she was cut by glass and fans are now calling her out for it. Like this fan that commented, does anyone else find it weird that Megan has not come out and denied that she got cut by glass? Just me? Okay then. And I kinda get what the fans are trying to say because Megan has been super vocal about the case on social media and she has come out several times to debunk rumors that were not true, like she did with DJ Academics. So I understand why people feel like her silence is weird. But the thing is, it doesn't matter if Megan comes out to debunk this because most people have already made up their minds. If she claims that the report is false, they'll just say that she's lying and drag her even more. So this is just a lose-lose situation for her. So it makes sense that she's saving her energy by not addressing the drama. The trial for the case continues in September and hopefully this case will finally be judged then and we can all get closure because heaven knows that this case has been dragged on for long enough. Anywho, if y'all want some more chaotic celeb drama then you better check this video.